Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Cowboys C.D. Lamb drops blunt response on contract talks. C.D. Lamb isn't answering any questions about contract talks with the Dallas Cowboys, with the two sides still yet to come to an agreement on a new deal with Lamb entering the final year of his rookie contract, the star receiver made it clear he's not talking about contract negotiations in a tweet on social media. The social media post was made in response to a tweet from blogging the boys' Brandon Laurie. Laurie made reference to Lamb's upcoming youth football camp while also mentioning how it could be a chance for Lamb to answer questions about his current contract situation. Situation. That doesn't appear to be happening, as Lamb makes clear. I'm not speaking about any contract negotiations, if that's your questions, wrote Lamb on Monday, July 8th. You'll get zero answers. It's about the kids. C.D. Lamb expected to miss training camp while seeking new deal. The youth football camp is scheduled to take place July 9th, 10 and the 20. Training camp is due to begin on July 25th, and Lamb is expected to miss training camp as he seeks a new contract, according to Calvin Watkins of the Dallas Morning News. The 25-year-old receiver was also absent from the team's mandatory minicamp back in June. His absence resulted in more than $100,000 in fines. Lamb is set to earn $17.99 million during the fifth year of his rookie contract this season. That makes him the 15th highest paid receiver in the NFL for the 2024 season. The 25-year-old receiver is coming off of the best season of his career, leading the NFL with 135 catches for 1,749 receiving yards to go along with 12 touchdowns. Not only did he post his third consecutive Pro Bowl campaign, he notched his first ever first team All Pro selection as a result of his banner year. Cowboys will likely have to sign CeeDee Lamb to record breaking deal, however, there has been little progress on contract talks between both sides, as Watkins notes. But maybe further complicating matters is that Lamb has previously said he ideally wants to be the highest paid receiver in the NFL. The problem is, Justin Jefferson just reset the market with his recent deal with the Minnesota Vikings after signing a four-year, $140 million deal. That will pay Jefferson $35 million per year, a record for receivers, which means Lamb's new deal will likely have to exceed that. That's not even mentioning that the Cowboys still have to get deals done with other star players such as quarterback Dak Prescott and linebacker Micah Parsons. It's also worth noting that there's been little progress on a new deal when it comes to Prescott, who is also entering the final year of his contract. If there's anything that may support the argument that the Cowboys will get a deal done with Lamb, it's that previous holdouts during training camp in recent years, running back Ezekiel Elliott and guard Zach Martin, eventually sign new contracts. While it isn't clear when a deal between both Lamb and the Cowboys will get done, one thing is obvious. Lamb isn't talking about contract talks at his youth football camp, and he most likely won't address it at all before the start of Cowboys training camp. Dallas Cowboys emerges favorites to land former star receiver Michael Thomas. The Dallas Cowboys have been very far from the all-in mindset that owner Jerry Jones said the team would have this offseason. However, the team is not the betting favorite to land the once best receiver in football in Michael Thomas to pair him with one of the best in the game today in CeeDee Lamb. It has now been several months since the New Orleans Saints parted ways with their former All-Pro receiver, and for the most part, it has been very quiet about where Thomas will be suiting up for 2024. There are now indications that Dallas could be the number one spot on that list for Thomas. The Dallas Cowboys are the betting favorite to land Michael Thomas. Per a new betting future that was released on BetOnline, Thomas is favored to land himself on the Cowboys during free agency before the beginning of the 2024 season. While the Cowboys are not in desperate need for another weapon, having Thomas could certainly help opposite Lamb on the field. Dallas has the highest odds in landing Thomas at 3 over 1, and there are a few other big-time contenders on the list as well. After America's team, the Buffalo Bills are next in line with 5 over 1 odds, then the Baltimore Ravens at 8 over 1, and the Kansas City Chiefs round the list out with 10 over 1 odds. The odds makers are letting the NFL world know that Thomas is almost undoubtedly going to a big-time contender for the 2024 season. Imagining Thomas on any of those teams with any of those quarterbacks is an exciting idea. It's quite hard to tell exactly why Thomas has not signed a contract just yet, as maybe he has not been offered the right amount of money, or he has not found the right team fit for himself for this season. 
It is clear that most of these teams in contention would not be able to offer Thomas too big of a deal. Thomas was one, if not the best receiver in football over the 2016 to 2019 seasons, where he seemed like a surefire Hall of Fame type of guy. He recorded four straight 1,000-yard seasons and had the single-season record for most catches in a year, with 149 in 2019. Thomas went to three Pro Bowls during that tome and was a two-time first-team All-Pro. He was voted the Offensive Player of the Year in 2019, making him the first receiver to win the award since the great Jerry Rice. Thomas could certainly help a contending team, especially like the Chiefs, who are lacking great weapons at receiver. However, at the moment, the best bet is that he lands with Dak Prescott and the Cowboys for this season. We will have to wait and see where Thomas lands, and at the age of 31 years old, how many good years he has left in the NFL. Cowboys CeeDee Lamb won't take questions about contract negotiations. Dallas Cowboys All-Pro wide receiver CeeDee Lamb is using the offseason to negotiate a new contract with the team. Lamb has been relatively silent for most of the offseason, staying off social media, training on his own, and stepping away from voluntary OTAs and mandatory minicamp. On July 9th and 10, Lamb will host two youth football camps in Texas and one towards the end of the month in Arlington on July 20th. This marks the first time this offseason that the receiver will be in the public eye, and it could be a chance to provide an update on his contract negotiations. If local media is present, questions surrounding a new deal could arise during a Q&A portion of the days. However, Lamb stopped any notion of taking the spotlight away from the kids and putting it back on him in response to a tweet on X, formerly Twitter. Lamb has every right not to talk about the status of his contract negotiations. The camps are about the kids and giving back to the Texas community. However, the question of where things stand between him and the Cowboys could come up, as it's one of the offseason's biggest storylines that needs an answer with training camp a few weeks away. On June 27, Calvin Watkins of the Dallas Morning News reported that Lamb could hold out if he didn't sign a new deal before then. There's been little progress on extensions for Prescott and Lamb this summer. For the second consecutive year, there's a possibility a key starter will hold out of training camp. Lamb missed the entire offseason program and is expected to miss training camp if he doesn't get a new deal. If Lamb holds out of training camp, it could benefit his long-term future. Ezekiel Elliott and Zach Martin used this strategy to secure new deals, and their absence from the initial days in Oxnard forced the team's hand. A similar scenario could unfold with Lamb. Around the NFL draft, owner Jerry Jones wanted a few more leaves to fall, before looking at extending his stars in Prescott and Lamb. Since then, Justin Jefferson, A.J. Brown, and Eamon Ross Street Brown have vaulted into the top three earners for the wide receiver position, averaging between $30 to $35 million a year. Lamb, represented by the same agent as Brown, is in a prime position to slot right between the number one and number two average salary, earning around $32 million a year or more in a new deal. His consistent improvement in production since his rookie season, including setting the Cowboys' single-season receiving record and leading the NFL in receptions in 2023, is a testament to his talent. As the first day of training camp practices approaches, the anticipation for a new deal for Lamb is palpable. However, it might be some time before we know of his intentions to navigate the rest of the offseason, because, as he said, he won't answer any questions during his camps if the local media are present.